The anarchist philosophical and political movement has some connections to elements of the animal liberation movement. Many anarchists are vegetarian or vegan or veganarchists and have played a role in combating perceived injustices against animals. They usually describe the struggle for the liberation of non-human animals as a natural outgrowth of the struggle for human freedom. Topic: <inaudible> Origins. <inaudible> Leo Tolstoy (1828–1910) was a vegetarian, pacifist, and Christian anarchist. In *On Civil Disobedience*, he wrote. A man can live and be healthy without killing animals for food, therefore, if he eats meat, he participates in taking animal life merely for the sake of his appetite. And to act so is immoral. <laughs> Veganism and anarchism Veganarchism is the political philosophy of veganism more specifically animal liberation and anarchism, creating a combined praxis as a means for social revolution. This encompasses viewing the state as unnecessary and harmful to animals, both human and non-human, whilst practicing a vegan lifestyle. Veganarchists either see the ideology as a combined theory, or perceive both philosophies to be essentially the same. It is further described as an anti-speciesist perspective on green anarchism, or an anarchist perspective on animal liberation. The term was popularized in 1995 with Brian A. Dominic's pamphlet Animal Liberation and Social Revolution, described as a vegan perspective on anarchism or an anarchist perspective on veganism. The 18-page pamphlet explains how many young anarchists in the 1990s had been adopting deep ecological animal-inclusive and anti-speciesist mindsets as part of an overall green anarchist political philosophy. Similarly, animal liberationists were becoming increasingly influenced by anarchist thought and traditions, thus becoming veganarchists and adopting an overall praxis. Topic: <laughs> Direct action Direct action, an important philosophical component of anarchism, is also common within the animal rights movement. Activists using names such as Stop Huntington Animal Cruelty and Animal Liberation Front use direct action techniques, including animal liberation, violence and property destruction. Industries targeted include, meat, dairy, animal testing, fur, other animal-based industries, private citizens and government institutions. Frequently, in the case of Animal Rights Militia ARM, Animal Liberation Brigade ALB, and Justice Department JD, have carried out political violence against people. The allegedly decentralized and leaderless structure of the Animal Liberation Front could be seen as an example of anarchistic organizing, acting in autonomous, covert cells. <laughs> Convictions Rod Coronado is an eco-anarchist and is an unofficial spokesperson for the Animal Liberation Front and Earth Liberation Front. On February 28, 1992, Coronado carried out an arson attack on research facilities at Michigan State University MSU, and released mink from a nearby research farm on campus, an action claimed by the ALF, and for which Coronado was subsequently convicted. In 1997, the editors of Green Anarchist magazine and two British supporters of the Animal Liberation Front were tried in connection with conspiracy to incite violence, in what came to be known as the Gandalf Trial. Green Anarchist Trey Arrow was sought by the FBI in connection with an elf arson on April 15, 2001 at Ross Island Sand and Gravel in Portland, torching three trucks amounting of $200,000 in damage. Another arson occurred a month later at Ray Shoppert Logging Company in Estacada, Oregon, on June 1, 2001 against logging trucks and a front loader, resulting in $50,000 damage. Arrow was indicted by a federal grand jury in Oregon and charged with four felonies for this crime on October 18, 2002. On March 13, 2004, after fleeing to British Columbia, he was arrested in Victoria for stealing bolt cutters and was also charged with being in Canada illegally. He was then sentenced on August 12, 2008 to 78 months in federal prison for his part in the arson and conspiracy elf attacks in 2001. In January 2006, Eric McDavid, a green anarchist, was convicted of conspiring to use fire or explosives to damage corporate and government property. On March 8, he formally declared a hunger strike due to the jail refusing to provide him with vegan food. He has been given vegan food off and on since. 
In September 2007, he was convicted on all counts after the two activists he conspired with pleaded guilty testified against him. An FBI confidential source named Anna was revealed as a fourth participant, in what McDavid's defense argued was an act of entrapment. In May 2008, he was sentenced to nearly 20 years in prison. On March 3, 2006, a federal jury in Trenton, New Jersey convicted six members of SHAC, including Green anarchist Joshua Harper, for terrorism and Internet stalking, according to The New York Times, finding them guilty of using their website to incite attacks on those who did business with Huntingdon Life Sciences HLS. In September 2006, the SHAC-7 received jail sentences of three to six years. In January 2009, veganarchist Daniel Wadham was sentenced to five years, along with others six campaigners from SHAC-UK who were sentenced to between four and eleven years. They were charged with waging a campaign of blackmail and intimidation against HLS, attempting to close down the animal testing laboratory by targeting the company's associates. Other prisoners Daniele Casalini, Italian green anarchist accused of arson against electricity pylon, in protest of nuclear energy. Dean Cain, veganarchist alleged to have trespassed at a rabbit farm and charged under SOCPA section 145. Nicole Vosper, green anarchist who pleaded guilty to charges against HLS and has begun serving prison time. Topic. See also. Animal Rights Animal Liberation Front ALF Animal Rights Militia ARM Food Not Bombs Green Scare Leaderless Resistance Revolutionary Cells Animal Liberation Brigade RCALB Topic References Topic External Links Animal Liberation and Anarchism Anarchist Ethics, a utilitarian approach and anarchist perspective on the ethics of animal liberation The Domestication of Animals, Dot and of Man an essay by CrimeThink Veganism, another essay by CrimeThink Animal Liberation through Trade Unions, a wobbly perspective Infoshop Review, Making a Killing, the Political Economy of Animal Rights Ambiguities of Animal Rights A Criticism of Animal Rights from a Social Ecology Perspective From Animals to Anarchism. Disophia Open Letter Asterisk 3